It is Sunday. We are in Paris on the Arc de Tri uh, No, we're on the Champs Elysees. That's the Arc de Triomphe in the background. So, yeah, we are about half an hour out from starting. We made our way here on the metro and yeah we're just getting ready to go this is john it's his first marathon how are you feeling all right i think yeah not too stressed we will catch up with john see how he got on when he finishes he's uh he's in the four and a half hour pen i'm in the four hour pen uh the start times are a bit mad they're staggered over about three hours i think from the elite race to when the the final pen uh, gets set out so yeah, there's a big, um, a big wait to start, but hoping it goes all right. We are hoping to maintain a pace today of around five minutes per kilometer is what we are going for. We will just see how it goes. It's kind of good running conditions at the moment. It's overcast and probably early to mid teens temperature wise. So not too hot. It was quite warm in Paris yesterday when we arrived which probably would have been rather exhausting to run in, so glad the temperature has dropped a bit. But we will catch up when we are in the starting pens. We are in the pen. We've inched our way as far forward as we can get. I don't think we're actually due to start for another half hour, but it would not surprise me if we get released early, maybe. We're getting closer to the inflatable start line. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is another level of busy. Gothenburg was busy. This is very, very busy. Uh, so yeah, we are just settling in. We've got rid of our uh, top that was keeping us warm. So fingers crossed we stay warm. I say it's mid teens so it's not too bad. And yeah, we're getting ready to go. <laughs> starting don't know if you can hear me right now it's very loud in here yeah it's been a long walk down the champs elysees to the start i don't know how many thousands of people are doing this but it's it is many so yeah we are just waiting for the countdown we are gone. 14.2 kilometers left to go. That was a loud start. So we are now running down the Champs Elysees. We are trying to stick to a pace of five minutes per kilometer. So we are just settling into a pace. They send you off in phases. So you're in groups of maybe a couple of thousand each time by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice to get away from all the uh, loud PA and everything like that. So yeah, we are just trying to settle in to our pace and we will catch up shortly. We are just past the 5k point. Uh, first 5k were 25.23. We were doing all right until we hit the drink station and everything kind of packed up as people slowed down. So uh, yeah fairly happy with where the pace is so far <laughs> legs aren't feeling like they like I hope they would I feel a little bit heavy but I'm hoping that we ease in as we go but yeah right now they're feeling a little bit leggy which isn't great 5k in but we will see how we get on atmosphere is amazing streets aligned yeah on we go 10k last split was 25 20 so we are maintaining that pace of about 505 i think we've eased in a little bit more in the last 5k running is feeling a little bit more natural and less of a 
grind as the first 5k were. We've been through some pretty wicked uh, parts of Paris where the atmosphere has been amazing, quite compact um, running lane and just thousands of people lining the streets, which has been really cool. So yeah, we are 10k in and we are feeling good. Just over 15k in. That last split was 25-14. So our best of the three 5k splits so far. We slowed up a bit straight after the 15k to fill up our water bottle at the water station, but I don't think it cost us any more than a few seconds. So we are now running towards 20k. Feeling good, feeling like we've settled into the pace. That's just how long we can keep holding on when we get into the business end of things. But yeah, so far, so good. Just turned my music off and it's quite serenely quiet aside from the noise of foot stamping. But yeah, we're doing all right so far. 20k in one hour, 42 minutes. And that last split was a bit slower, 26, 28. But we're gonna put some of that down to the water station because I think we recovered quite well. We were down to 5.40 average at one stage. So we recovered quite well there. But yeah, we are approaching the half marathon point in the next one and a bit K. Legs are starting to feel it now. So imagine the second half is gonna be a bit more painful. The pace we're maintaining is fine. So we've just been through quite a lot of park. So kind of out of the city, feels like we're coming back into the city now as we approach the half marathon point. So I imagine the crowds will also start picking back up a bit. But yeah, on we go. 25k in, we are definitely back into the city now. Uh, currently just pipped over the 25k point. We are uh, two hours, 10 minutes in. The last split was 26.59, so we are slowing up a little bit, which is a bit worrying, but our average pace, our average pace is 5.11, so we've got to be happy with where we are so far, so keeping the morale up as we get back into Paris. 30k in, 2.37.30. Pace for that split was 5.36. Time is 28.04 over the last 5k. This is where the actual second half of the marathon is believed to start. And I can believe that because I think we've uh, hit the wall a little bit. Pace has uh, dropped way off, but two and a half park run to go. Uh, yeah. So the atmosphere is great, but it is no joke. Uh, not the best I've run. I think that was the other week. I ran better for whatever reason that came together on the day. Uh, today is going okay. I think we're on, unless anything catastrophic happens, we're on for a marathon PB. So we're just keeping the focus on that, one foot in front of the other, 12K left to go. Let's go. 35K in, three hours, eight minutes. We are averaging a pace of 5.22. That last 5K was 6.09 per kilometre. We have fallen off the cliff, as I said, in the last update, but we're plodding along, we're not stopping. We're seeing how we, we end up hoping to have a bit of a, not exactly a sprint finish, but a, a speed finish like we did in Gothenburg. Our fastest K was our last K. We'll try and repeat the same here. But yeah, we've passed some of the sites now. Museo de Orsay, Eiffel Tower. So yeah, we are on tired legs. 40K in, three hours, 41 minutes. So obviously, I didn't tell you what my goals were for today. I kind of forgot. So we had an A, B and a C and a D. 
A was 3.30, which is what my marathon training plan thought I could do. I'll be honest, I always doubted it, but I went for it. B goal, 3.45, we're not going to get that either. C goal, sub four hours, I think we're going to get that. Fingers crossed, D goal is just to finish, because that's never a given. So, I'm getting tripped up. So, I don't want to be accused of tripping anyone up as they've hit 40k. So, yeah, the legs are well and truly gone. There's nothing left in them. Just, as I what you call it, muscle memory or what. But, yeah, trundling to the end. We'll see you in the final few meters. We are about in the last kilometer. So we're chasing down sub four. I think we'll get it. I don't have the final kilometre that I had in Gothenburg in me. But if I can keep for a 6 minutes 12 average pace for the 5k split we're on now. So if we can keep that we'll be okay. Uh, giving it everything I've had but uh, yeah the 330 was never there. However, sub 4 is something that I'm going to be super proud of if I get it. You could say my ambitions are a bit lofty but they weren't set by me. I think I've got it in me, just not today. But let's enjoy these final few hundred meters. Done. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was, as expected, very hard. I'm so glad to be done. That was, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Atmosphere all the way around was, uh, was pretty special. In a few places was unbelievable. Like, oh, the people come out to support this marathon. It was lovely the amount of Ale Steve I got as I ran past. I don't know if people are enjoying the colour scheme I'm wearing today, uh, but that was really nice. That was happening frequently, so that was lovely. But yeah, we will have a wrap up and stuff in a bit. John is still out there. I will check the app soon to see where he is. I think he started about an hour an hour an hour 10 later than us so not expecting him back for a bit yet but uh yeah we're just gonna collect our t-shirt hopefully some food hopefully a coffee uh 
Yeah, and then we will wrap up. Uh, we have had a few minutes to sit down, rest. Legs are absolutely dead, can barely move. But today we completed the Paris Marathon in three hours, 57 minutes and 40 seconds. That compares to Gothenburg, which we did in four hours, 25 minutes and 57 seconds. So the best part of half an hour quicker, it's about 28 minutes quicker. So a PB is good on any day. Uh, I think in the last kind of few months, I've been achieving what my training plan has asked me to do. And that has been trying to lead me towards a kind of sub 3.30 marathon, but it didn't happen today. It may happen in the future. Uh, today was just not that day. As I said, in I can't remember at what point, but it just, from the outset today, the, the legs just didn't feel as light as I wanted them to. So we never even got under five minutes per kilometer, which was kind of our target pace. We were hovering over it for the first, I think 15K, we were really close to it. And then we gradually just kind of started ebbing away from it. So, you know, different things can happen on different days. The run that we did in Peterborough, if we would have carried on for another 10K, we may have smashed this time that we did today, but I'd say like you, you, you can only do what you can do on the day. So yeah, an amazing experience today. Gothenburg was amazing. This was amazing. So I'm very lucky to have done two really cool marathons uh, within the space of six or seven months. So that training plan has come to an end. We are, for we, I'll stop saying we, I'll talk about me. Um, the plan for the rest of the year is to take a little bit of time to recover and rest, not too much uh, from this marathon. And then some of you might know I'm doing the Chicago marathon in October. So we'll be doing another training block for that. Hopefully we can take some more time off this one. So um, yeah, we'll probably pick up a little bit more when John comes in. I need to check on the app to see where he is out on the course at the moment. Um, and yeah, I won't say goodbye because it'll be nice to do a wrap up with John to see how he felt his first marathon went. So I won't say bye, I'll say see you in a bit. We are now at the station waiting for our train back to London. John, he has just done his first marathon. How was it? Uh, very hard. Um, I had the one of the, my favourite mara uh, half marathons of my life and then had a real terrible time for um, about 10 kilometres between about 25 and 35. Yeah. It was good. Hit the wall around the 30k point. Do it again? Uh, not soon. <laughs> not soon. No, I would do it again though. Never yeah. say never. No. Cool. Well, that is wrapping up our Paris adventure. We both finished. Yay. John got a PB, his first marathon. Yep. I got a PB, second marathon. So uh, a good day at the office. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and see you next time. See ya.